just really con- uh, kept me in a personal state of just remembering who Yahweh was. This was a decree. This is a de- declaration. This is a this is a truth. This is a commandment, and it also put me in submission. And submission used to be fighting words for me. I I, I can't speak for everybody, but I can tell you that submission used to be fighting words for me. Um, somebody telling me to submit, and you need to learn know how to be more submissive. It just um it evoked um a conflict and an enmity to me um and especially as a black woman in the world um it seemed that all of society um seemed to be trying to put me under their standards all of society seemed to be trying to put me in this state of submission um we're we're often viewed um at the same time of being too much you know we're too boisterous and too intelligent and we speak uh, we speak out too much but at the same time, we're not enough, right? Right? You know, we're too loud. We're 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 too we we too smart, Alec. Uh, uh, um, we speak out of turn. Um, we 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 just do too much. Um, but at the same time, we're not enough. Um, we're we're not worthy of security. We're not worthy of of general you you know humanity and respect. And so it constantly seems like society was trying to put me under their standards. But in in my revelation, praise Jehovah, in my in my revelation, thank you, Holy Spirit, I realized that it was because they wanted me to submit to their standards, but I knew that that wasn't righteous standards. I knew that wasn't Yahweh's standards for me. I knew that wasn't Yahweh's will or mission on my life that I not um, speak out for myself, that I not speak out for others. Um, I knew that what they were trying to say was submission was actually suppression. What they were trying to get me to submit under were hypocritical or standards that they themselves didn't even live up to. That the standards and the customs of this world should not be knelt down to. I should not humble myself underneath their standards, but to humble myself under the will and the mission that Yahweh has on my life. Because Yahweh is more than enough. Yahweh, his grace is sufficient. With Yahweh, his mercy is renewed to us daily. He's able to do exceedingly abundant all we can ask or think, but this society can't do that for you. This world can't do that for you. And you will never live in Yahweh's will, you won't ever meet uh, that standard. You will always miss the mark if you are not in submission to the right standards. If you are not in submission to holy standards, righteous standards. If you're not in submission to the laws and the uh, of the covenant that you have with the Most High, and not the unrighteous covenants you have been forced to make with this society. Society, the submission isn't the dirty word. You have to recall who are you submitting to? Whose mission are you submitting to? And he set us apart. He has a set apart people. He has people that he seeks to be like him. You expect your children to continue on with your customs and your thought processes and, and the things that you've placed into them. Empathy and joy and being a good person you expect that what you have planted into your children will eventually grow and Yahweh expects that what he has planted into his chosen what he has planted into his people what he's planted into those who are seeking his face and seeking to serve him his expectation is that they are full of grace that's right that's right we are like unto him we are like unto him when we die to this flesh And so he expects us to be full of grace, full of mercy. He expects us to be in righteous judgment. His expectation is that we be obedient to his laws. He expects us to be light. And the adversary is seeking those he can devour. He can deceive, distract. And the world will deceive you, telling you that your submission to their ways, you're you're coming under their standards. You do you understand the, the these these uh, right?
rights as I've said that to you. No, I don't stand under these laws. I don't stand under the jurisdiction of this world. I stand on the foundation of Yahweh Allah Him. I stand under and in submission and in wisdom and in, in fear of the Most High. That's what I stand on. I don't stand under the customs of this world. So you have to be careful about what you are submitting to. Is it working together for Tabah? All the things that we may have to suffer in this life, if you stay in focus and staying under the mission of the Yahweh's will for your life, all things work together for good. What to those that love the Most High? So that's part of the covenant. That's part of the requirement. That is the condition of this covenant with Him. That is the condition of this relationship with Him. For all things to work together for good, you have to love the Most High Yah. You have to be called. You have to be invited unto his purpose, under his will, under his banner, under his standard. So you're not just out here willy-nilly. You're not just out here willy-lynching. You're not just out here being lawless, straddling the fence being some timing, you are committed because you love him and because you have hearkened unto his invitation. You have hearkened unto his call on your life. And that's how all things work together for Tabah. That's how all things work together in holiness and in righteousness. To submit, the Hebrew word for submit is ana, and it means to humble yourself to be under, to obey. And pastor reminds us often that it is submission. It is not submansion. It is to be under a mission, to be under a standard, to be under a banner, to be under, uh, to, uh, be under a covering. You have to humble yourself to come under the covering. You, you, you can't stand on, on your own thoughts and processes. You have to humble yourself to duck inside the house, to come back under the wing, to come back under his, uh, uh, under his will. You have to humble yourself and put away your ego, your lofty thoughts. You have to put away your lofty way of thinking, your, your own uh, ideas and standards. You have to, what do he say? Uh, his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are hiding our thoughts. He said, forsake your ways and, and seek the path of Yahweh. He said, forsake your thoughts and seek and hunger for the righteousness of the Most High Yah. He, what is it? What did uh, Yahshua tell us? And he said, why callest thou me good? There is none good. There is none to buy. There is none holy and full of righteousness that but Yahweh. But if you will, if you will it, if you will that you will walk in obedience, if you will that you will uh, keep the keep the faith and, and, and keep the holy feast and the laws and statutes and commandments, if you will that you're going to walk in the way and the light and the truth as Yahshua HaMashiach can show that, if you will enter into life and keep his commandments, There is none good but the Most High if you enter into life and keep his commandment. But that's still your will. Yahweh's will and mission for us is that all shall come to him. Every knee shall bow. We shall all praise and worship and walk in obedience to him. Every single creation on earth. But if you will, if you will it, then all things can work together for good. All things work together for good to those that are called. All things work together for those that who are, are who love him, who fear him and keep his commandments. And the, the scripture itself, as many of his scriptures, if if you put, give yourself or 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 allow your, yourself to see it through Yahweh's eyes, this this particular scripture for me was also a scripture of submission. It was a subscription of submission to Yahweh. That no matter what I see, 
no matter what my flesh tells me, all things work together for good because I love him and then I'm and because I'm called into his purpose. All things. James 3 and 8 read, But the tongue can no man tame. It is a unruly evil and full of deadly poison. So no matter what my mouth say, no matter what other people may say out of their mouths, Yahweh's word is true. Yahweh's word is, is everlasting. Yahweh's word is, is eternal. So what they are saying may not may may not be true. What they are saying won't last. What they are saying is temporary. Um, it also speaks about what else is wicked. He says, Baruch 2, verses 7, it says, For all these plagues come upon us, which Yahweh has pronounced against us, verse 8, yet we have not prayed before Yahweh that we might turn away from the imaginations of his wicked heart. Your heart is even wicked. And what did we already establish? We already know that wickedness perishes in his sight. So we have to become clean. We have to seek to walk in obedience. We have to seek to be in right legal standing. We have seek to keep the laws and the commandments as given it to us in this covenant so that we don't have to partake of the plagues of this world. So we can turn away from our own. Did he say, if my people who are called by my way, my name will turn from their wicked ways, turn their wicked heart, break that heart so that Yahweh can create a clean one so that what? All things can work together for good because you love the Most High. You love Him enough to allow your heart to be broken. You love Him enough to allow that spirit to be broken. You love Him enough to fight this flesh and gain dominion over your flesh so that you can continue to walk in the spirit. And it's an act of submission. And it's a complete act of submission. I'm submitting to that all things work together for, for good. I'm not only submitting to the chast, submitting to his de declarations and his degree, decrees that all things work together for good because I love him. That's his promise to me. That's his promise to me. And for my submission, that all things work in for my submission to his will, for my submission of thinking the way the most high thinks, for my submission of, of walking in obedience. I'm going to walk in obedience because I know that all things work together for my good because I love you and I keep your word because I love you. I walk in obedience because I love you. I seek to be corrected and for you to order my steps, Yahweh, because I love you. I meditate on your word day and night because I love you. And because I love you, all things work together for good. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I used to tell my son all, that all the time. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It matters what the truth of the situation is. And the truth is that if you love him, all things work together. The truth is that your your light can't be be hid. The truth is that if you are seeking and hungering for righteousness, he's going to provide every everything. He said, on these two all hang all the laws that you love one another and that you keep the commandments on these two hang all the laws so if you and and if you're loving him you're keeping the commandments and it always leads back to that submission to his will and the submission to his way it used to be a dirty word but you have i had to recall and Yahweh has revealed that you have to watch what you are submitting to. The adversary tries to copy everything. What is Yahweh's mission and will for our life? That we fear him and keep his commandments so that He we can be in eternal life with him. That is his hope for his children. What is the, what is the mission of this world? The adversary goes around to and fro seeking whom he can devour. Are we trying to devour? Are we trying to deceive? Are we trying to distract? Are we trying to create uh, enmity between the, the most high and ourselves? Are we trying to create division? We're trying to do the will of the most high, which is to be with him. And to be with him, you have to be clean. To be with him, you have to be moving in righteousness. To be with him, you have to walk in newness and in that spirit. 
so that all things are good. Even when he's chastising you and you feel like he's pushing you in a particular direction, that's for your good. He's trying to fix something in you. He's trying to show something uh, through you or to you. But if you're loving him and if you're keeping his commandments, you fear less as situations come up come about I, I don't worry about money anymore because i'm seeking yahava al account and he my maker is my husband who is a provider who is a protector all things gonna work together for good it doesn't matter what it looks like to me and my flesh it matters what yahava has declared and decreed and promised to me in the spirit you got to be submission. You have to submit to what Yahweh thinks. Submit to how Yahweh uh, views the thing. You have to submit to Yahweh's ways and thoughts. You have to give complete submission to his will. You have to give, to give some submission to his wisdom. You have to submit to his wisdom. You have to humble yourself that Yahweh knows what he's doing. You have to submit to yourself that Yahweh is always going to point me in the right path. You have to submit to yourself. He's teaching me something here. This is something I need to know for the journey ahead. This is something I need to know so that I can reach the mark. This is something I need to know so I can stay on the path. This is something I need to know so I can get to have intimacy and relationship with him so I could be clean enough to have relationship and understanding and wisdom of him not so that I can walk in my old ways not so that I can walk in my old thoughts even the trauma even the trauma all things work together for good you got discernment from that situation you found out who that person really was from that situation no they lied to me they did this to me good good you got to see their fruit you got to know them by their fruits you got to discern that spirit and so now you know who they are who's who fought whose father who is their father whose mission are they under are they under the mission and the will of the most high yah or are they under the mission and the standards of the adversary the mission and the standards of this temporary world all things work together for good and it is a submission and in the world it will be suppression they try to keep you from speaking the word of the most high they try to keep you from testifying to his glory they, they'll try to tell you oh well I, I don't need to read the book uh he's gonna be in my heart but the heart is wicked your heart wicked your tongue wicked your eye can even be offensive You have to seek the foundation. You have to seek the, the, the beginning of the thing. You have to seek the source and not be caught up in the resources. So you're here to submit to the will of God, not have the his will suppressed. You're here to speak the truth and to share that and to share the testimony of his glory and his works and his wisdom. You're not here to suppress the truth. You're not here to be a stumbling block. You're here to point them towards the cornerstone. The keeping of his word is an act of submission, an act of humility, and for your protection. And for your protection. We working on it. We all working on it. But that's that still goes back to the goodness. That still goes back to the tabah. That still goes back to the holiness of our father. We have to work on it daily, but he grants us mercies, new mercies, daily, so that we can work on it. And again, how all things work together. You woke up again this morning, all things working together for Tabah, so that his word can go forth, so that the glory of who, the Yahweh can go forth, so that people can see who he is. So the people can see his exceeding and abundance above all they can ask or think. So the people can have peace beyond all understanding. We are granted new mercies so that others can see the mercy and the grace and the provision and the power of Yahweh Allah. I keep telling you, your walk is a ministry. I am not only a minister. Yahweh has chosen me to speak. He has chosen and, and, and chosen to reveal 
who he is in his character. He has chosen me to, to study and to edify and build his nation. But my life, our lives, our walk, our daily walk of faith, our daily praise, our daily worship, our daily suffering in this world, but still walking in the spirit, still walking in faith, still walking in kindness, still having the tongue of kindness, still having empathy, still seeking to edify our brother or sister, still seeking to lift up the name of Yahashvai Hamashiach, still seeking to be like our father, still seeking to be under the covering, still asking others to come under the covering, come under the protection, come, come back in the house. Daily mercies, daily mercies, if we, what, love him, if we meditate on his word day and night, if we are patient, if we take in the chastisement, if we allow him to order our steps, if we seek his face, you have to submit unto the mission of Yahweh Allah you have to submit to the to his will for your life. I'm sorry, I'm getting, trying to get back to my verse. Let's go to Romans 12. Let's go to Romans 12, verses 1 and 2. In Romans 12, verses 1 and 2, and it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Allah, Kham, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Allah, 